Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Last time we defeated the first boss of the game and and, un, and unleashed. I don't think unleashed is right, the proper word for that. We released the first star spirit of the game. So this time we're going to be heading on back to Toe Town to go to Dry Dry Desert apparently, where Twink will apparently tell us eventually that... Um, that's, uh, Dry Dry Desert is where the next Star Spirit is. Oh, hey, there's an FP Plus badge up here. I thought it was a Star Piece, personally, but I guess not. My phone went off. Jump right on down. But, uh, yeah, what the FP Plus badge is, is basically, um, you equip it, and it's... It takes three badge points, and it raises your FP by five, which it means it's basically a undo your BP up for FP. Which, like I've said, is quite common, actually. Oh, wow! Well, getting into that battle actually reminded me that I should probably un-equip the Smash Charge, because I'm not really going to need it for anything. Um, I guess I'll put Power Jump back on. Because there's not any enemies... Well, there will be enemies near soon that will have um, extra defense, but it's not for a while, at the very least. Uh, I'm missing 2 HP, why not? And I don't know if there's any more, um... Any more things for us to do with, uh, the mayor yet. But I'm still just going to leave that off for later. Wait, 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 wait! Guess what we didn't get? Because we didn't have to, because we were going back through here. Cooper, get that for me. Thank you. A star piece. How many does that make now? We now have eight in our possession. So we can actually get quite a few um, badges from Merlot, but I'm still going to hold off on that until we get more because there's not really anything too important that I think I need this soon. I'll go over there and see what they have after Chapter 2, that's what I'll do. Hold it right there, Mario, I've been waiting for you. Oh great, it's the wannabe Bowser Jr. I told you I'll be back, now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby, check this out. And he masterfully takes us out. Is that a... I thought I saw a butt crack on him for a second there. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you this fight will be much different from before. Who's this crazed guy? What a nut. <laughs> That's what I say every night, buddy. Shut up! You, Mario. Of course you remember me. No, not really. What? Darn it, you don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug, my name is Junior Troopa. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. So this is another another throwaway boss fight, of course. Get ready to get hurt, Mario. I'm going to show you a new skill I just picked up. And I believe that just raised his defense, like, not very much. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Except you're forgetting I have power jump. So he actually has one defense. Youch! Who knew that Mario had such battle skills? Grr, it's not over yet though. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch to Bombette just so I can blow him up next turn. And he still- he does two damage this time, okay. That's an improvement, at the very least. Yeah, you see, even though, um... I'm not sure which one- what it's called. But even though the one that lets you um, bounce a bunch of times it will technically do more damage, it only does them one at a time. So it's not as useful as uh, Power Jump could be, which it does all the damage at once, which of course is much better for dealing with Junior Troopa here. But of course, he is no match for us. Oh, I thought he'd die right there. That's why I said that. I'm just gonna let him do damage to me. I'm not sure if he gives us money, but, you know, just in case. You never know. Ooh, I should show off the star power that we got, actually. Well, he's dead now. Oh, hey, that's gonna level us up. Sweet. Yay. With that... <clears throat> oh, by the way. Isn't this, uh... Oh, this is Mario 3, I think. I think it's the overworld music. Wow, that's quite a reference. Reference. I'll do BP. If I regret it later, I can, of course, either use the HP up or the BP up badge. 
Oh, also. Ah! 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 ah. Ah, uh, you don't even have to hit him for him to yell, ah. Incredible. We did it. Alright. So, what's new in Toad Town? Mario! What? Oh, it's, uh... It's our little gay friend here. Mario, Mario. It's me, Twink, remember me? No. I don't. I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the K Koopa... K bleh, Koopa Bros. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. But enough celebration for now. I come bearing, in bearing important news for you. It seems one of the star spirits is being held captive somewhere in the Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle, of her own castle, to get to you, to get you this clue, Mario. If we find anything else, we'll hurry back to you. I can't read, so I'm just gonna stop reading for now. Wowie. So basically everything else I'm going to do is going to be some side quests in here. I think there's probably some more mail that we can read. Maybe for Cooper. Not sure for Bob Bombette. Receive some mail. We have for Cooper. Colorado's wife. Okay, what's it got to say? Here you go. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem to touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so so you have something to look forward to. Oh yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Please take care. Colorado, Col Col Colorado's rife. Nope, that's all. And of course we will get letters later, but that's for a later time. For now, however, what do I want to do? You know what I want to do first... Oh, there's a lot of things I want to do now that I think about it. This badge shop is going to open up. Hey, mister, my dad opened his shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. So this is what I'm excited for. We have lots of rare badges, so take a very close look. Speedy spin. Definitely want that. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to make us spin longer and faster. And of course, it's like nothing compared to how much money I have. Multi-bounce, which will jump on all the enemies in a row if action been timed right. That's good. First attack lets Mario destroy a weaker enemy with the first strike, but we basically kind of get an equivalent to that in this next chapter, so I don't 100% need that. So I'll get multi-bounce. Uh-huh, I knew it, Mario. Knew you had a keen eye for badges. That's a good one. And if you're wanting, wondering what exactly it means by weak enemies... It means any enemy that will no longer give you a star point, which at this point is no enemies because Goombas still give us star points, which is the absolute least that anything can give you. I'm sure they'll only give us one, but once we get to level 5, I believe they'll stop giving us any points. Anyway, we have three to use. Let's get speedy spin and multi-bounce. As you can see, I do tend to lead towards the... The, bounce, the jumping weapons, which there are more of, coincidentally. Uh, where do I want to go first? Here, let's go this way, because I'm going to do what's over here first. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Bombette. Is, what, what's my... Okay, everything's full. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dojo because it's now open. And I believe we can just go as far as we want at this point. Oh, you must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master. I am the head of this dojo. Cough, hack, cough. Weak. We or er, not just weak. Please pardon me. My health is rather delicate. Every day we train in this dojo to improve my body and mind. If you have the purpose and the desire, you may challenge us. Tell me, what business do you have here today? I'm going to try. Very well, the Chan, then Chan will fight you. Now, Chan, it is your time. It is time for you to fight Mario. As you say, Master. Okay. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a Jackie Chan. If the other guy's named Lee, then I will know. Here comes Chan the man. So this guy basically works just like any other Buzzy Beetle, which we haven't encountered yet. But if you jump on him, he'll flip over. And then you can do massive damage. How dishonorable. Truly. Now we're going to blow him up. This is why I chose Bombette, because she can do the most damage in the smallest amount of time. 
because five is not a small number. Ooh, okay. In that case, we'll just use a power jump or power bounce right now. I believe he has a defense of two, actually, unless you flip him over. So that's kind of more than usual. Oh, I didn't get many off there. But one more bomb should knock him out, if I were to guess. It's not like he can do anything to us. We could have fought him um, after we went to to the Shooting Star Summit, but I chose to leave it before to um, after this. The winner is Mario. Chan, you must train harder. Very well. I give you this, Mario. The first degree card, which I don't, I don't really remember what these are used for. I think if you get all the way to the end, they'll probably give you a. Oh wow, it doesn't heal you. They'll probably give you. Um, a star piece or something, if I were to guess. Is there a heart thing? No, nowhere near here? Okay, I guess I'll go to the toad place anyway. I think I'll leave it, leave it at that for now for the dojo, and we're going to explore elsewhere because we can now go to the south part of town, but first we are going to need to heal up. Yo! Hello, Mario! The toad house slogan is refresh your body and soul. Yes, I know every- oh, I pressed B. There we go. Now we can sleep with a girl for once. How many girl partners in this game? Okay, there's one that I'm not sure is a girl. If that's the case, then there's three girls. Uh, I'm gonna have to ponder that later when we actually know who the characters are. What else does he have for sale here? I think he has two more. Oh no, he only has three for sale for now. I believe after chapter two he'll have two more. Uh, neither of them I don't think I really want too much. Is there anything in here? Yeah. There's not really anything else we can do in terms of uh, star pieces for now. Uh, what do we have in our inventory, actually? Koopa leaves. You know what we're going to do with those? We're going to cook them. Hey there. Oh my goodness, it's Mario. My name is Tasty. I love to cook. If you bring me ingredients, I'll be happy to fix you one of my energy-giving dishes, heart. Would you like me to cook something? Yes! We're going to have her cook the Koopa Leaf. Now keep in mind that you can actually cook two ingredients together later after I believe chapter five or so? Maybe four. Maybe three. Heck, I don't know. It's not three. It's four or five. So um, I'm not going to be using all of my items here. This will give us Koopa Tea, which heals seven FP as opposed to five. And I'm thinking I might need a couple of these items since I'm not exactly using a lot of um, of my level ups on BP or HP. So I'm going to be a little bit item dependent, but that's the thing. I'm going to be getting a lot of money because, you know, I have both refund and payout, which will give me tons of money, especially refund. Whenever I use an item, I'll be getting money back from it depending on what the item is. Um, there should be. Yes, here we are. So, private. This leads to the underground. And really, if we had a, if we had a good mind on our shoulders, we wouldn't go here yet. But we can, so we will. Ooh, is he a floating enemy? I don't know. It doesn't matter for now. But Gloombas are enemies. They have 7 HP and 2 attack power, and that's not talking about the ones with spikes on their heads. So these guys can pack quite the wallop. Now, what I'm gonna do... Ah, uh, I, I don't trust myself to get 7 hits off right off the bat. So I'm just gonna do that and then use a bomb on them. And that should knock out a Gloomba. Yeah, because they have 7 HP. They give us four star points, which is actually quite a bit for this early on in the game. Er, not a boss. <clears throat> not a boss as well. Ooh, whoops, that was not the right move. Whatever, I'll live with it. They'll just do one more damage to me. So, Gloombas uh, are, usually, are an, an enemy that we'll see more commonly much later on in the game. Um, not really something that we should be encountering yet, as you can obviously see from the massive amount of star points we're getting. Especially if we do- ooh, a sleepy sheep, not bad. Especially if we do encounter one with a spike, which there's actually one right there. Yeah, that was obvious. Ooh, we're full! Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna throw away the sleepy sheep. Okay, well, let's use a few items then. Hey there! So, this guy has an attack power of three, which is insanely high. So, what we're gonna do is, uh... Let's show off the Fright Jar. I don't really need the star points at the moment. Also, Refund always activates, I believe. Whoa, that worked on both of them. But as you can see, they don't give any star points, but it still does count as you winning the battle. And a Dizzy Dial. Oh yeah, because we just used an item. Are any of these good? This one is. Nice. So, um, if the next room is the room I think it is, I should go back and heal. Yeah, okay. I'll go back and heal, and I will be back in a second. By the way, oh wow, everything respawns if you leave the underground. I didn't show off my super long speedy spin. I'll show how far it goes. That's pretty coolio. Anyway, moving on. I have Gumbario for this fight because I believe this is a floating enemy, technically. Blooper! Oh boy. So, it wasn't much of an introduction to this fight, but this is a mini-boss, Blooper. We're going to check out how much HP it has right now. This is a Blooper. Bloopers lurk in the dank pool, dank pools of Toad Town Tunnels. Match a max HP is 30, attack power is 3, and defense power is 0. They seem pretty unremarkable, although you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. So yeah, this is indeed a floating enemy, and it may seem pretty formidable by that HP and that attack power, but a Dizzy Dial works wonders, which we luckily just got right before this. Please work. Thank you! So this will actually knock him out for four turns. And one just, of course, just went by. So I'm going to be using a lot of power bounces on this guy. Hopefully they'll work. Because it's actually really tricky to time them when you're, like, jumping on something that's pretty high up. So that did six damage right there, and I will, of course, be using Goombario's head bonk. Because at the moment, no one else can even hit a flying enemy. So right now we're just going to completely unload on this guy. And he's gonna love it. I will, of course, give him a chance to show off his attacks, because I'm not that mean. Come on. Bop him twice. And this will put him under 10, which is makes me a very happy guy. Alright, now he's at 9. This will put him at 7. And we should be able to knock him out in two more turns, which makes it impossible for him to knock me out. So I'm just kind of going to let him, like, hit me. Oh, wow. No, we still get this turn, too. Wow, that Dizzy Dial really worked for us, didn't it? I also didn't expect to get all of those, um... All of those action commands right. I might let him attack me this next turn, too. So yeah, he has an Ink Attack, which I think can possibly daze you, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to kill him this turn just because I don't want to. Just so I can show off his possibly his other attack. Nope, he's using the ink attack again. I'm gonna let him attack one more time. Maybe he'll show off his his other attack. Nope, don't attack. The one where he lifts me up, maybe? No, he used the ink attack all three times. Well, just so you know, there is another attack that he does where he goes above you and, like, kind of flops down on you. And then there's another where he brings you into the air. No, nope, I'm thinking of a different enemy. Um, but yeah, there's another attack where he goes above you and kind of jumps on you, and it's much easier to dodge than the ink one. Of course, I took a bunch of damage in that fight, so I should be getting a bunch of money in return. Oh. Oh, he doesn't give us money. Ugh, why do I only do it on enemies that don't give us anything? Anyway, in return for that, we get the Shrink Stomp badge. If it works, the enemy shrinks. Its attack power decreases. I believe by just one, and it's, I think it's pretty cheap as well. Uh, is there anything we really don't need? Close call. I'll go ahead and put Shrink Stop on. Uses 2 FP. Shrinks the enemy, decreases the enemy's attack power by half. That's a lot, actually. And I'm not sure if it t uh, rounds up or down. So, 
something with three could either do one or two. I'm not 100% sure. I don't dare get in a fight with a Gloomba or else it will destroy me. I'm gonna go save after that. Because I didn't plan on... I don't know. I did actually plan on everything that happened there, so whatever. Anyway, with that, I think I'll end it off here. Next time, we're going to go down and explore the beginning of Chapter 2. See you all then, and goodbye.